Hey, what is going on everybody? Um, so we are here today looking at patch 3.16, um, which looks pretty cool actually. <coughs> Not very prepared for this video, I have to say. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got a few things to look at. The reason why I didn't do it on August the 24th is I did actually see it on August the 24th, which was the Wednesday. Where are we? Wednesday here. Um, on this date, they were also going to bring out uh, some information about uh, what God and what uh, concept art got picked for the Tier 5 Odyssey. So I was like, excellent, this ties in perfectly. I can do them both at the same time and it'll be a really good video. Or it'll be, a, it'll be an alright video, you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought that was going to be the case. And of course, I don't use Twitter because I'm not really that type of person. Um so I didn't actually see on their thing, but I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on the on the actual Smite page. And I was like, they're going to update it, they're going to update it, they're going to update it. Checked it again yesterday. That's like uh, Wednesday, checked it Thursday, checked it Friday, checked it Saturday. And they still hadn't updated it. And I was like, okay, well, fuck knows. I don't know what the fuck they're up to, but um, I guess I'll just wait and wait and wait. And eventually, um, we'll actually go over this first. Eventually, they released what they said they were going to release. So we had the phase one, which is where we chose the class, which mage one. Um, then we had the phase two, which was um, submissions. Um, and the three submissions that came through were Anubis, Cuckoo, and Salt. And then we had the phase three, where it was like, okay, we'll pick um, which one of the three that you actually like. Uh, so I picked Anubis. Um, but I also wouldn't have minded if it was Cuckoo. Um, and equally, I wouldn't have... Well, actually, I would have kind of cared if it was sold a little bit. But I still think they all look really great. Um, now, this was not crossed out all of yesterday. And obviously, it says August the 24th. They were lazy. They didn't update their own website. They decided to update Twitter, but not their own website. So, yeah, a bit, a bit of a loss for low res there. Because um, I've been waiting and waiting. And I'm sure lots of other people have as well. But anyway... The big fucking news, guys. What you guys want to see is me scroll down and tell you who actually won. So, as you can see, the winner has been announced. And we have Anubis as the winner, which I think is fucking excellent. Because that's literally... When I saw it, I was like, I really hope it's Mage and I really hope it's Anubis. It turned out to be Mage. Then Anubis was in the top three. And now he's been picked as the actual one, which I find just absolutely fantastic and really, really enjoyable. I'm going to... I'm going to have to get him. Uh, it's going to cost quite a bit. I think the Odyssey uh, Tier 5 event is normally about 20 long. And I think on average they cost about 400 gems. So if you do the maths quickly, it's about 8,000 gems. Now I've got about 5,000. But for people that don't have any gems um, to finish the Odyssey, this is pure speculation. I didn't do it last year. So I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what it might cost. Obviously, you're going to be getting a lot of stuff along the way, but if you just want the Tier 5 and you're just aiming for the Tier 5, to complete the whole Odyssey event, I think it's about 8,000 gems, which I think will roughly cost you about £90 um, or like $130. I'm not too sure. Um, but anyway, so just looking at this, um, yeah, we've got this uh, this guy here who... I didn't actually look at too clearly. Um, I don't really mind him too much. He looks pretty cool. And um, then the tier two looks pretty great, really. I really like what they do to his like his sickle starts to come into play, which is obviously a big part of like Anubis, God of the Undead, and all that type of stuff, which is cool. Or not sickle, but you know what I mean, that type of shape of staff that he always carries around. Um, and he starts to, you can slowly see his feet starting to fall more into a sort of um, from a human into a, a devil dog. Um, and then tier three, obviously, it starts to become pretty apparent that he's going to be a beast at some point. And you can see these wings here. Now, what I will mention is these wings look fucking fantastic, right? And obviously, by the time you get to tier four, which just looks beast, I don't even need to say anything about it. It just looks fucking great. By the time that comes around, the wings are great. I think they're the perfect size. I think they're they're done really well. I like these little hooks on the end. Everything about it is really, really great. Um, but if we go back um, and we zoom down a little bit, and we take a look, we'll look at this. Um, what you'll see is that now it says art is not final. They've obviously updated the art from what the submission was that we just had a little look at. And these wings are like skeletons now, and there's not actually much frame to them at all. Like I looked at that and almost 
miss them. You know, they don't stand out at all. Yeah, if you look at it for like more than a second, you can see, oh, he's got these bone wings on his back. But I would have really preferred it if it was the other type. But, you know, whatever. Art is not final. So hopefully um, they'll have a little look at that. But anyway, that's really, really, really fucking cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can go to their uh, Twitter page and um, it tells you that Anubis is one. And as you can see, they did release it on the 24th. So they done what they said they were going to do. But they just didn't update their own website, which I think is really fucking lazy because I think a lot of people rely on the website to like get their information for shit. But either way, um, it's going to be Anubis, guys. So if you guys are excited as I am, yeah, fucking dope. But with nevertheless, because this video is probably already like fucking five minutes long or something, we are going to get into um, 3.16. So we're going to have a little look at the new god coming up, Izanami. So, I have to confess, I haven't looked through any of her abilities, and I don't know what type of god she is. Um, I sort of skimmed over this the other day and sort of forgot to come back to it. But anyway, um, I'm pretty sure she's Japanese. She's Matron of the Dead, uh, which is a pretty cool cool little title for her. Uh, she's got a passive, Death Draws Nigh. Um, the closer her name gets to death the more powerful she becomes she gains four percent physical penetration for each 15 percent of her health missing up to uh, up to a maximum of 20 now that's really good that they put the up to a maximum there but to have 20 percent penetration built into your kit at well let's do the maths you gain four percent right so that means you have to do five times 15 which is going to be 75 so at 25% health, she'll hit her full penetration, which being an extra 20% is fucking huge. Um, that's like a weak Titan's Bane. Titan's Bane is 33, that's 20. It's like having a weak Titan's Bane built into your kit when you're low on health. Uh, cool passive, quite like that. Um, sickle Storm. In six seconds, she throws her Karma Sickles. I think that says that is Karma, isn't it? Even faster and more furiously. Um, so this is a buff for her basic attacks, I guess. While active, they no longer return to her, but instead do 100% of her basic damage plus additional bonus damage. She may reactivate this ability to revert back to her normal basic attacks. So I thought she was an assassin, but I did hear something about that she throws boomerangs. And I'm guessing this is what people meant by the boomerangs, these little sickles that she has. Um, let's actually look at her in all her glory. Um, She's, she's pretty cool. She looks like a cool character that has to be said. She does look dope. Um, so, I mean, I guess perhaps she's a hunter. I'm not actually sure, guys. I'm, I should have done the research before. But either way, um, sh this is going to be an ability a little bit like um, Expelanka's uh, one, I think it is, where his basic attacks hit stuff behind him. This is just going to do additional damage. You can activate it and uh, deactivate it without using mana, I would guess. Spectral Protection um, sends forth demonic visions of herself to strike down enemies, damaging and slowing all enemies in a line. Okay, so it's a line ability. Um, if, enemy god, if an enemy god is killed while slowed by this ability, future uses of the slow will be increased by 6% per kill up to twice for a maximum of 30%. So she's got a little bit of snowball if she gets some kills. I'm not too sure about that. It, uh, I'd have to see the base and the scaling, but um, it sounds okay. Uh, fade away. <coughs> she descends into the underworld, becoming stealthed. Okay, so she's got a stealth uh, before leaping away from her current position. Okay, oh, so she's not allowed to move, so it's going to be like a uh, Bastet um, stealth jump. Uh, firing a damage a damaging ability or basic attack will break her stuff. Okay, so it's, it's literally the same as Bastet. That's kind of okay. Um, and then her ultimate, uh, by the looks of things, yeah, her ultimate, uh, summons a dark portal which damages and silences enemies, all enemies within range. Um, so it's an AoE silence that does uh, damage as well. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, that could be pretty dope. Uh, this is her recolor that they're bringing out with her. This looks pretty all right um you know i'm not blown away by it and i don't really know what it's going to be like so i can't really put too much input into that but yeah um we got some 
awesome skins. Now, this is what I'm excited about for this patch, is we've got some really great skins. So, Fafnir, who I don't play, but is OP as fuck at the moment, gets a really cool paladin-looking skin. I think that's awesome. Um, Noir gets a sexy sort of uh, maiden skin, which, again, looks fucking dope. Um, oh, my God. Nox, my bay, My fucking bay Nox. Look at those tits. Jesus fucking Right. All right. Yeah. So Nox looks great, man. I mean, the skin is a little bit. I'm not really sure where they're going with it, but um, I like it. I think it looks awesome. She's looking sexy as fuck. Uh, we got a new Silvana skin. Um, so it's like sort of like uh, little mushroom man and mushroom tree at the same time. Um, and then we got a Bacchus skin, which is uh, very American with his Gatorade. His little Gatorade hat on, a corn dog, and uh, some Crocs for some reason. Um, but yeah, I think that looks pretty cool as well. Um, some achievements again, if you guys are interested, have a little uh, look. Uh, the final season ticket update is is coming out, which adds um, the yeah. It adds the new uh, Fafnir skin. So if you guys got the season tickets and got enough fantasy points, you'll be getting that. Um, and a Danis announcer pack. He's actually one of the most annoying casters, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I don't like him at all. So that's going to be useless for me. But you guys, you know, that might be cool for you guys. Uh, prize money global emote. So another global emote that's going to be limited. So that's actually pretty cool. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I, I'm interested to see what that's like. Um, rank. Now, what is this? Let's have a quick little brief look through this. Oh, okay. So this is ranked where they're bringing in the um, the Joust ranked, uh, which I think is a terrible idea, and it's probably going to kill the game. Um, that's fine. I mean, they're, they're doing what they're doing. Uh, we'll see if it works. I personally don't think it's going to, but whatever. Uh, miscellaneous, updated, various uh, descriptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix the issue where 500 pots uh, were locked even after level 10. Uh, I had that a couple of times, but not too much. Um, Phantom's gone up to 180. I'm not actually sure that this was needed, to be honest, because, come on, when you buy Phantom, unless you're like some pro fucking player and you're using it on a Ymir wall or a Thor wall or something like that, it's almost He's certainly going to be general. for... Hello? Yo. Hello, mate. I'm just doing um, the patch 316 notes but stick about man um uh yeah so i don't know really uh, you're not really going to pick up phantom for anything else but odin at least i'm not anyway uh so i don't really think uh, i mean odin's cooldown once it's like he's got full cooldown he's like 42 seconds or something on his ult so i think 140 was more than long enough so to put that up to 180 um, I think brings Odin way back into the game, but I don't really think he was out of it, so I don't know. It's interesting anyway. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty crazy. It now affects units within 35, so you can pretty much get your whole team out of a cage. Um, that's pretty fucking OP. But yeah, it is what it is. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Divine Rune's got a magical increase uh, from 50 to 65. I think this is a great shout because not enough people build anti-healing on a uh, magical character um so i think this will make it a lot more appealing just a bit more damage uh magi's blessing has gone down a little bit i think that's good because it comes with such low protections but obviously the passive is fucking amazing basically like free beads um that being reduced by 200 gold is a great shout uh then pythagorean's piece this is great as well the um well it swings around about uh, the price has gone down to 2.4 which i think was needed the magical damage has gone down to 60. I don't personally think this is too much of an issue. Um, the aura magical power increase has gone up to 30. So I think that basically counters the drop from 70 to 60 straight away. Um, and the aura for the magical lifesteal has gone up to 15%. So nice, nice buff for Pythagoras. I really like Pythagoras, so that's good for me. Um, reduce the price of spectral armor from 2.1 to 1.9. Uh, as far as I know, Spectral Armor gives you 80 physical protection. Is that white? Right? Is that right, Why? Yeah, or is it 60? 
Um, anyway, I think it's 80. So to get 80 physical protection for 1.9 is by far the cheapest physical protection you can buy in the game. Um, so that's going to be interesting. I think loads of people are going to be picking this up when they're not doing so great and they're a bit low on gold. Uh, Witchblade physical protection has gone up from 45 to 60. I think that's a really good shout. Um, I think that makes this this uh, this item pretty fucking good. Like, really good. Um, but we'll see. Uh, General Fitz is for Arachne. We don't care about that. Erlang Shine's pin's gone from 12 seconds to 16. That's pretty good. Uh, I think it was needed because he's fucking OP as fuck. I think, he, I think he still will be really OP, but that's going to help it a little bit. Um... Fafnir, the bonus from the bonus, sorry, from his passive has gone from four to two, so they've literally split it in half. Um, so that's really good because uh, he can be incredibly destructive in the right hands. Um, and an increased cooldown on his leap from 13 to 15 seconds, that's good. I think that's going to help bring him back to balance a little bit. Um, some Hoi Yi updates, some interesting ones as well. Uh, his, the base damage from his ricochet has gone up by quite a bit um which is really good uh, and the scaling's gone up by five percent so that's really good as well but they've reduced the bonus damage per ricochet down from 50 to 40 <clears throat> so basically you want to make it a little bit easier to clear lane with him excuse me um but you know at the same time they don't want his uh, ricochet to do any more damage so the ricochet is going to be doing just as much damage as it used to but you're going to be able to clear lane a little bit faster is what i can take from that uh, mark the golden bow uh remove the bonus 25 um penetration provided at 25 percent penetration provided at rank 5 i actually didn't know that that sounds incredibly powerful um this ability reveals all marks targets at all ranks uh okay so but the duration is reduced from 15 to 10 seconds so yeah, a little bit all over the place there. It seems like they're trying to get him a little bit better at, um, you know, at, at the whole game as opposed to just being the the god that takes out enemy gods is what I can take from that. Some stuff for uh, Kali and Odin, which we don't care about. Um, Sylvanas has got a buff. Fuck yes, Sylvanas needed a buff. Um, increased damage by a shitload on his Verdant Growth. I think that's going to be great. Um, increased protections given when he does his heal, his Wisps. Uh, I think that's fucking awesome as well. Um, and Nature's Grasp now has a reduced cooldown from a ridiculous 22 to 18 to 20 to 16. So I think that's going to be much, much, much better. It's going to give him a lot more support. Um, and that's about it for major changes. As far as I can see, uh, Pythagoras and Divine and Spectral Armor all look fucking awesome. I really like what they've done with them. Um, Phantom will be interesting. Ranked is just going to be shit, I'd imagine, but we'll see. Um, definitely, uh, if you haven't already gotten the uh, way over the cap that's at the moment, which I think is 12k on the season ticket, work on getting that up because I'm not sure how long the final season ticket update will be out for. And there's three, well, there's two pretty cool new things coming out. The Adanus and Alter Pack's obviously going to be shit because he's an asshole. But that's just my opinion. Um, and we've got some fucking awesome skins, man. The Nox skin, Jesus fucking Christ almighty. Um, and yeah, the new god. I don't know what's going to be going on with the new god, but it's interesting. Uh, and then obviously a little while ago, we talked about the Anubis thing as well. So that's going to be fucking great. Uh, and as far as stuff going in on in-game is concerned, um, we've had these chests uh, coming out. I think at the moment it's the Assassin one, although I can't actually see it. Maybe that's what that is there. So if we go to the store and chests. Um, oh, we've got the Guardian chest. Okay, so it changed over. Um, so this will probably be gone by the time I've uploaded the video, but these chests have been coming out and um, there might be a couple more coming this way as well. Um, and then we've got the Louisiana um, Independence chest. So it doesn't actually say it here, but for each uh, chest that's unlocked, so when you spend 400 gems, Smite or High Res are going to give uh, $2 to um, the relief uh, that's needed for Louisiana. So that's pretty cool. I think that's it's good that they're giving so much because that's quite a large amount of the 400 gems that it would cost. Um so yeah that's pretty cool and i think oh yeah here we go that two dollars towards helping the people affected by the floods um and i think that's about it but uh yeah sorry it took me so long to get that out guys i just wanted to record it once we had um 
the official news on uh, who was being picked for the tier 5 and now we know it's Anubis I can obviously do the video but before then I thought it was a bit pointless making two separate videos I might as well chuck them all into one but uh, yeah anyway guys what we'll do is we'll have a little look at um, the patch when it comes live on Tuesday which should be Tuesday the 30th um, and yeah I'll upload that later in the week as well um, alright anyway till next time guys peace